Hello everyone, my name is Jenny Bon and today I'm going to do a quick review of Carly's new collaboration with Il Macchiage. Before I start with this side-by-side -side review and comparison, make sure to subscribe on my channel. Click the notification bell so you get notified once I post a new video and be sure to comment all your questions down below and I'll be happy to answer them. Let's get started. So what I'm going to do in this review video is play Carly's review about her newest collection and I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of my honest review about her review and her products. So I'm going to try on all of the products Carly's review on her video because I also received the PR package of her newest collection. I have a medium skin tone, same as Carly. So I receive a face palette that has the same um, palette as she swatched on her review video. So let's get started. Thank you for watching. I am so excited for today's video because I can finally talk about something that I've been working on for over a year and a half now and I'm so proud of it. It's unlike anything out there on the market and it's been an absolute dream come true to create this entire collection for you guys. So I'm going to get right into it. I am doing another collaboration with Il Maquillage and this collection is probably the most beautiful thing I've ever created. And when I was creating these products, I was like, I really want to do something different. In the makeup industry, you know, everything's been done so many times over and over and over again. So I really wanted to like put my thinking cap on and do something different. And I cannot wait to share it with you guys. And this box right here. So by the way, you guys, I also received Harley's first collaboration with Il Maquillage. The first PR package that I received with her collaboration was really amazing. But this time around, the concept of galaxy and stars and wish upon a star is just super, super beautiful. So this is Carly's um, first collab products. It is literally like rose gold and white and it's really beautiful. I love that it's just very minimalistic and still like he still has like a galaxy themed with her second collaboration so I'm pretty stoked about it. Right here which is gonna have the entire collection. Hold on, there it is. Oh, there we go. Will be available for purchase, not just for PR. So I know last time around I had the big PR box and everyone was like, oh, wish we could get that. So this time around, I was like, you know what? We need to just have it for sale as well, not just offered for the PR for influencers. I'm really happy to learn and to know that they'll also be selling the complete PR package set online because I know for sure a lot of fans out there would want to grab their hands on this beautiful PR package. So there was one lip combo that I had to bring back this time around. Like, there was no question about it because not only have you guys been highly requesting it, but it's been my only lipstick combo that I wear ever. So most of you guys might remember. So we have Libra and Luna, but it's going to be in the updated navy packaging with the gold and silver detail. And the lipstick bullet, as you can see, has a beautiful constellation pattern all over it, just like the last collaboration. It's super creamy and hydrating, which is so rare to find for a matte lipstick. And then we have the Luna Waterproof Lip Liner, which is a dark brown lip liner that is just amazing and this lipstick has really unique matte lipstick formula I've ever tried but when you apply it it has this very buttery creamy texture and it just really melts into your um, lips and it gives this really kind of like satin a matte finish which is super amazing it just doesn't look really flat on your lips if you know what I mean but this gives a illusion of like you know kind of like a 2d effect for some reason but this is the most amazing matte lipstick formula I've ever tried on so if you guys haven't tried this well you're missing a lot And same thing, I'm gonna go back with the liner. 
This is the Luna Libra combo. As you can see, it looks gorgeous. However, I think it's very more like a nude of... It looks very nice if it's like worn during the night time and if you have a really darker eyeshadow. So I literally use this combo every time I go in the night out um, because it just looks super amazing um, with a really dark eyeshadow and like nude lipstick. That's like a perfect combo for a night out. Because for those that don't love that uh, cool toned nude of Luna Libra, this one will be perfect for every skin tone. It's more like pinkish and more wearable for like an everyday type of look. So for this collaboration, she come up with a, a nude shade with a little bit of pinkish tone. This is the Taurus and she partnered it with the AI. I'm really super excited about this new shade because I personally love to wear nude with a hint of pink shade on it and I think this would look super gorgeous during the daytime and just if you're just wearing a plain eyeshadow and no eyeshadow at all this would still look gorgeous so this is the lipstick it has a pretty good decent amount of product um i think for this amount it would last like three months if you use it every day because you don't really need to reapply it it pretty it lasts pretty long um and this is the liner combo which is the ai so i'm gonna go ahead and swatch it so there you go this is the taurus and this is the liner ai combo can you see the difference it's literally more more pinkish um more lighter than the first libra shade so this is the taurus and this is the libra and this is the ai i just removed my lipstick and i applied the newest shade in her collection which is the taurus and the ai i think it looks a little bit similar um and it literally kind of just give this lift of lips but unlike the Luna Libra combo, it gives more of like this ombre type of finish because the liner is a tent a bit on a darker side than the Libra shade. The AI liner has the same natural color of my lips and it blends super perfectly. It looks super natural. And then when I paired it with the, um, the Taurus shade, it just gives this a hint of nude mauve finish. Still satin, matte finish, but the color is, I think, much prettier than the Libra combo. Uh, I prefer this combo. So the medium palette, it, these are all called the Moonstruck palette. I have them in light, medium, and dark, and I will swatch every single one as well. But I'm gonna talk about the medium palette first because that's the one that I use today and the one I use most often. So this is the packaging here. El Maquillage is one of those brands where their products look as good as they perform. So as amazing as the packaging is, the products are just equally as amazing. As they performed. It is absolutely true. Um, the packaging, you guys, is super gorgeous. Like, I don't even know. They put so much time and thoughts about their packaging. It just would just really blow your mind it is super luxurious quality of their products are amazing they're all baked highlight slash bronzer what's amazing about the two baked products is they are infused with vitamin e and also jojoba oil which is going to give you a gorgeous streak free contour and highlight with the shimmer one and then we have the pressed pans we have a blush and a highlighter with a really cool press design in it with little stars and a little planet in there which i thought was just so brushes are so high quality they're made up of synthetic fibers but they again are going to be the softest brushes you ever use so this angle brush i like to use to bronze contour you can use it for blush really multi-purpose but i wanted to also create one that's a powder brush that I use mostly for blush. First of all, I like the idea that Carly came up with a face palette 
and she came up with two brushes that would go along with the palette that is super smart and that is really brilliant because of course you just don't want to use typical brushes with your galaxy collection right you just want to pair it with a galaxy theme brushes as well and when carly said it is super soft i'm testing it right now this is the first time i actually tried this brush it is literally super soft and just looking at the quality of the synthetic fiber you could tell that it is beautifully made it is not cheap at all like look how perfect the curve is the arch of it and no shedding at all it feels super good on the skin it is super soft and it's just a perfect size see this is just a perfect size so this is like the blush powder brush and this is like the contour brush and I like it that it's not really big and it's not really thick. It's just right, right, right size for my face. So I'm going to take this angled brush, contour brush, and just dipping it into this interstellar shade. Okay. Just tap the excess product and just go in. Ooh. Okay, one good thing I have to say about this bronzer is that it doesn't have any shimmer on it. Which is perfect if you have textured skin because you don't really want to highlight your textures, um, textured skin. So I really love using a um, really matte no shimmer bronzer and this just go really well with my skin type and... The color is not really too deep brown and it just give this really nice contour um, contour shade. Look at that. So this is what it looks like on my skin. Super pretty. Not too harsh, just like a little bit of like a tanned sun-kissed baked look. Beautiful. I'm so loving this color it's just perfect for medium skin tone first of all i like that it's also not shimmered and look at this just light glowy rose pink color so beautiful so top the excess product i'm just gonna apply it at the on my cheeks Blush. you can see it's just beautiful. It's like the perfect mauve pink color, which looks great on really all skin tones. So I've used every shade from every palette, the light, medium, and dark. They are universal, but um, I did pick the shades to go best with the skin tones. So it's totally up to you guys if you want to just get the one palette or if you want to try multiple ones. So that is the blush. It blends super well super easily on top of my foundation and on top of the bronzer and highlighter and everything it is super easy to blend and it's not super pigmented which just gives you this a hint of pinkish glow on your cheeks and this is what you get this shade is called Aris and wow beautiful and it's very lightweight. It's not too thick once you apply to your skin. So I would highly recommend this for textured skin. And I love that all of their products has vitamin E enriched to it. And it just gives your face and your skin more hydration. So overall, I am 100% blown away about how amazing and beautiful Carly's second collaboration with Il Maquillage. Am I going to purchase this face palette? Absolutely yes. I think this is one of the most beautiful face palette combo I've ever tried. No kidding. The baked bronzer and the blush, not shimmered 
was so uh, would look super good on textured skin and I have a textured skin it's hard for me to really find a nice blush and bronzer shade because most of the time when you go in the market it just all shimmered and the highlight slash bronzer beautiful like bronzy color to it a little bit of copper and gold mixed it which just gives you this amazing sun-kissed glow and lastly the highlighter the highlighter color is light beige which is looks super good on a medium tan skin tone not too harsh um it won't really take over your makeup it just gives you a little bit of highlight and that is what you really wanted Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and try the um, highlighter. So usually in highlighter, uh, because I have textured skin, I like to use my uh, finger and just get some product and put it on top of my cheek, like where the sun um, strikes my face around this area. And then on the same thing with what Carly did did bridge of my nose oh wow it has this golden look to it and so far it matches perfectly with the bronzer look it's not too yellow it's not too white it's just right right shade of um like a kind of like light beige highlighter and it's very lightweight. It's not too thick once you apply to your skin. So I would highly recommend this for textured skin because it is super light on your skin. So if you have textured skin, if you the, the product is too thick, it tends to like cake your face, but this one doesn't. Um, the wet and dry application is beautiful, but I prefer the wet one if you like you know, you want to bron your bronzer to really pop. And I love that all of their products has vitamin E and rich to it. And it just gives your face and your skin more hydration. And everything is vegan and 100% cruelty free. Overall, I'm super happy I get my hands on this newest Carly Il Maquillage collaboration. This is one of my favorite collection from Il Maquillage so far and I'm super impressed on how the galaxy themed contributed to the overall shades, colors, and textures of the products. It's just absolutely breathtaking you guys. I highly recommend getting your hands on today's newest newest face palette and lipstick it's just amazing if you guys enjoy my side-by-side -side comparison and review with carly's newest il my couch collaboration be sure to subscribe on my channel and thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you again next time bye